All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of God of War Ragnarok. I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today. And what we're going to talk about right now is the armor sets that we got for the pre-order bonus, which is kind of cool. So we got two sets of armor. I'm still learning how to negotiate these. Um, for Kratos and two sets of armor for Atreus. I don't think the armor does anything other than cosmetics for uh, Atreus. So let's um, oops. Let's go to him first and take a look. So this is the brothers' brand vestment. That's what they made for him at this point in the story. This is from the dwarves. Um, this is the basic survival garb he started with. They said he looked like a a, a, a kook in it. So they you know, dressed him up a little bit better. But then we have the Risen Snow Tunic. It's pretty sharp. I mean, I, there's some flavor text up there. I don't know what any of that means. Then there's the Darkdale attire, which is pretty cool looking, right? So I'm totally digging that one. That one's really sweet looking. So we'll go ahead and give him that. And then Kratos got the uh, same treatment, basically. So for chest armor... We just modified this one and upgraded it one notch. You can see it's a level 2 up there in the middle. Uh, strength of 11 and defense of 17. So switching it out for any of the other armors will lower the stats. But this early in the game, it's not really going to matter much because we're looking for sets of armor. And although we do have a set of this uh, fortified husk armor, I kind of dig these other ones a little bit. So, you know, like if we look at the... Blocks and parries have a moderate luck chance to empower Kratos' next attack to strike with a damaging explosion. That's kind of cool. Um, but the Darkdale killing an enemy while in Spartan range restores some rage and health. So that's kind of neat that it restores some rage. And it restores health anyway, so I guess there's a little bit more on top of it. But I'm digging the Risen Snow one a lot. Launching an enemy has a high luck chance to increase Kratos' strength and stagger resistance for a duration. So as you can see, our stats go down because it's only a level one, but we'll be able to level this set up soon if we uh, stick with it. So I'm kind of digging that one. This was the starter, of course, you know, the basic uh, basic one. And this is the one we pulled out of the box, if I remember correctly. The Vidar's Pauldron of Might. It was either that one or... I don't remember. Anyway, at, back at our house, we got one of them out of the box, but... So I think I'm going to go with the Risen Snow Breastplate. And these work differently than, you know, sets of armor work differently than they did in the last uh, game where you had sockets in them and all that. There's something, we're going to be able to use sockets later on for enchantments and stuff. Um, we're just not there yet, but we'll do a video on that one as soon as we get to it. But these all have like a synergy to them, right? So as you can see, launching an enemy has a high luck chance to increase his strength and stagger resistance. So we get that. And if we use the same one, the Risen Snow, increases stun dealt to airborne enemies. So this is promoting me to get guys into the air, get enemies into the air, and hit them there, which will stun them a lot quicker. And then I could probably, you know, kill them off with the, uh, knock them out with the stun um, attacks. So that's kind of cool. So it increases stun by 20%. The Waste Armor... Increase the stun delta air, airborne enemies. Same thing, right? Now it's 40% because we've got both of these uh, equipped. So we're going to stun the heck out of guys <coughs> using this set. Going back to uh, the Darkdale. This one increases the rate that rage is gained when attacking status afflicted enemies and using runic attacks by 20%, and then the wrist armor, of course, does the same thing, which would bring it up to 40. So if you use Rage a lot, <coughs> excuse me, oh, I'm sorry. If you use Rage a lot, this is the one to have. Um, but I kind of prefer the other one, because I do like getting guys into the air, if you've been watching my uh, playthrough. I'm always launching guys in the air, and you know, so that's why I'm sticking with the Risen Snow. Uh, the Fortified Husk one, again, launch, launching the enemy, <coughs> sorry, blocks and parries, blah, 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 but the wrist armor, nothing right now, you have to upgrade it to unlock a perk, waist armor, same thing, so, you know, 
not a really good set at that point, but, you know, later on, if we upgrade it, we'll see, you know, we'll take a look. You can upgrade any set of armor in this game to level nine, which you couldn't do in the last game. So that's kind of awesome. So we'll see which one works out best for us in the end. Thanks for joining me. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications. Don't forget to leave a comment on the video and a like down below and share us on social media. I will see you next time. Until then, peace.